Hey everybody, MusicPower1103 here, doing a review to Season 7, so hope you like it. Season 7 is narrated by Michael Angelis in the UK, and he also narrated four episodes for the US, for the New Friends for Thomas DVD. The four episodes Michael Angelis narrated for the US are Emily's New Coaches, The Spotless Record, Peace and Quiet, and Gordon and Spencer. The New Friends for Thomas DVD also has the two spin-off Jack and the Pack episodes from season 6. The music that is composed by Mike O'Donnell and Junior Campbell is the music for the UK versions, but because Michael Angelis is the narrator for the four episodes that have their US versions narrated by him, the music composed by Michael O'Donnell and Junior Campbell is also in Michael Angelis's U.S. narrations for those four episodes. As for Michael Brandon, he narrated all 26 episodes in the U.S. with music composed by Robert Hartstone. However, the three episodes, Harold and the Flying Horse, Balgy Rides Again, and Salty's Stormy Tale, use Michael Donnell and Junior Campbell's music instead because those three episodes are put into the Thomas and the Jet Engine DVD. But for some reason, I think it's weird that they had to change a few things. This series is produced in 2003. The characters that are introduced are Emily, Fergus, Arthur, Murdoch, and Spencer. Emily's introduction is Emily's new coaches, and speaking of that, before I talk about the new characters, I just want to talk about the four episodes Michael Brandon, I mean Angelus, narrated for the U.S. that were in New Friends for Thomas DVD. The four episodes that he narrated for the DVD, each of the four episodes introduces a new character. In Emily's New Coaches, it's Emily. In The Spotless Record, it's Arthur. In Peace and Quiet, it's Murdoch. And in Gordon and Spencer, it is Spencer. So anyways, let's continue on with the characters. Emily is introduced in the episode Emily's New Coaches. She became an actual member of the STEAM team. And this is where she is introduced. Fergus. I don't have much to say about this character because Fergus, there should have been an episode, the episode that he was introduced in, Bill, Ben, and Fergus, Fergus is a new friend for Thomas, but that still wasn't on the DVD, though. Fergus doesn't appear quite often. He only appeared in three episodes of this season. Bill, Ben, and Fergus, Salty, Stormy Tail, and Thomas and the Search for Fergus. Like, why would they have him on for only one season and then get rid of him? Like, I think that's pretty weird that they would do that. Arthur appeared in the episode The Spotless Record. That was where he is introduced, though. And Arthur, I'd say he is a pretty good character. More popular than Fergus, I'd say, because he has more appearances. He also ap appeared in something fishy as well. Murdoch also appeared in two episodes of this season. Not only Peace and Quiet, which is his introduction, but he also appeared in the episode best dressed engine. Arthur and Murdoch are very, very similar characters though. Like after season 12, they don't appear, but I'll talk about that when we get to that though. Both characters have two appearances in season seven and one appearance each in season eight. So I guess these are very, very similar characters though, but they don't appear quite often though. And then there is Spencer, the Streamline Silver Engine, who is introduced in Gordon and Spencer. Spencer is the fastest engine in the world at this time. He's not the fastest until, like, King of the Railway, but that's years later, though. So anyways, Spencer is, I'd say, the second popular of all these characters that were introduced in this season. He will appear quite often after this because of him being in the CGI series a lot. So, yes. 
And then moving on, there's a lot of firsts and lasts about the season. This is the first season to use the engine roll call as the introduction, only in the US version. This is the first series where Michael Brandon is the full US narrator. The first series where Edward, Toby, Duck, and Cranky speak in only one episode each of this season. There's a lot of lasts about the season too. This is the final season in which its music is composed by Mike O'Donnell and Junior Campbell. This is the final season of the classic series. The final series to have the episodes with a runtime of 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Terrence doesn't appear after this until season 21. This is the final series where Donald and Douglas appear until season 7. Season 11, I meant, with the episode Gordon and the Engineer, without the deleted scene in season 8, and them being mentioned in the episode You Can Do It, Toby. But basically, I'd say they don't appear straight until season 11, Gordon and the Engineer, because the deleted scene and them being mentioned in the episode You Can Do It, Toby doesn't count to me at all. This is the final series where Duck... Stephanie, Oliver, and Toad, with a face, have an appearance until season 12. As well, this is also the final series until season 13, episode Snow Tracks, to have three English versions. This is the only series where Stephanie appears from stock footage. In the episode from season 6, Edward the Really Useful Engine... And this is the only episode where Duck appears without a speaking role. So this is all I have to say about this season, and we'll see you next time.